Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate Community Thread. So here we have an Excel sheet which contains two columns. One is tracking number and reference numbers. And there is another SharePoint list which is which which is matching the the tracking num number here. Uh, sorry, not the tracking number. The reference number here. Okay. So the plan is the Excel file is going to drop in a specified OneDrive folder. From there, we need to read the Excel file, get the contents, and um, look against the SharePoint list column title, which is matching the reference number. And if it is matched, then we need to update the tracking number under the UPS tracking. Okay. So overall, what we need is a file, a, an Excel file is dragged, drag and dropped under a specified directory of a OneDrive. Then we need to read that file, then filter the records in SharePoint. Then if it is matching, then we need to update the tracking number. Okay. So for this, what I did is I have created a, a list called inventory. And under that, I got a title and the UPS tracking, which is blank. So the plan is I got I got an Excel sheet which is called tracking details and um, let me show you that just a minute let me open that uh, file now right this is my Excel file now as you can see here I have tracking number and the reference number so this is the column we need to filter against the title here and then update the tracking and numbers against uh, those rows okay so right now the ups tracking is blank here right so let's start building the flow then so the first thing we need here is the excel file um, where it is going to drag and drop under the onedrive so for that i'm going to use the onedrive for business and um, or you can use your personal drive if you want but for the demo, uh, for the demo i'm going to use the one drive business here then uh, when a file is created and I'm, i have created a directory called flow demo so let me go and select that so that's a directory my file is going to uh, you know drag and drop so in power automate uh, for the excel files we need to create a table to read the contents so first thing is when the excel sheet is drag and dropped uh, we need to create a table okay so for that again i'm going to use excel online business and uh, look for a create a table action step right so i'm selecting the location as my onedrive for business then again my document library path is onedrive then the file uh, the uh, the file i need to specify it so i know the file is created under the flow, slash flow demo folder so click on this browse button and then go to the directory that is flow demo and then what we want is just select any file here right now yeah so i'm going to select um, inc.xlx okay then the uh, because it, this all this browse only allows to select files so you can't just select the folder here then the plan is i'm going to place my cursor here and um, delete the the deletion deletion part is a bit tricky here um, so better to place the cursor at the end and then look for the file uh, when a file is created look for the file identifier see that so this is the one we want to map it here then just highlight it and delete it it's a bit tricky to delete always it's not deleting for me just a minute okay let me cut that i i, I highlighted and press uh, ctrl x then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the notepad and uh, just clean up that okay this is the one i need copy that again place your cursor at the end press the back arrow key 
and then paste it. Oh, no, I'm going to, sorry, ignore that. I've just cleared everything and pasted that. Then at the end, I'm going to put the file and here it is, yeah. It's a bit of a pain to do it sometimes. <laughs> so that's done. Then the next thing I need to do here is I need to create a table. Um, so uh, dynamically, we need to create the table here. Um, so for that, I'm going to use a formula and this formula I'll, I'm going to put under my uh, video description, right? So uh, this will make sure that it will, it will create that uh, table within the contents, okay? And then um, the table name. So the table name I'm going to call here tracking details, okay? And the next thing we want to do here is the column names, okay? So if I open my um, Excel sheet again, Okay, so you can see here, I just dropped that tracking details Excel file under my OneDrive folder, okay? So that's that. Now you can see floor and successfully and it created the table and uh, it is reading the list of rows present in a table. So if I open that uh, file, uh, the Excel file now, so let me open that. Here it is, so you can see here, it created a table now here. See that, it created a table, you can see the header has been changed now, so it's created a table here now, yeah. And um, let me go back here. So you can see the list rows, so now it's reading that file, using that identifier, see that, Slide file identifier, that's the long ID that. And you can see under the show row output, I can see the content now, under the value, see. Okay, this is the technique you need to use for uh, reading the uh, the values. I'm not sure why I'm getting column one blank actually. I'm not really sure about it. Um, okay, so let me copy this. So I'm going to select everything. And uh, the technique you need to do here is go to the run history, place your cursor inside, press control I, control C. Okay, so you copied everything. The reason why we need to copy here is we need that schema to read it. Okay, the next step I'm going to do here is uh, let me check something here under the create table did I put anything here no nothing I don't know the column one I don't know why it is coming there I don't know it might be because of bracket I saw something I'm not really sure why why anyway I'm going to ignore that now then then um, the next step is pass JSON that's the step we need Okay, and then this is the output from the previous step, list rows value. Now we need to create the schema. So I copied earlier the result uh, set from the run, run history, the data. So click on generate from sample, place your cursor here, press control V. So now I got the schema now, click done, here we go. So that's, I, I got all the schemas now here. I generally, what I do is once it's generated, I remove the required ones because if something is blank, we might get an error there. So just remember, um, you need to be careful here, highlighting all that from record, from here to this square, left square bracket to the right square bracket. So delete that, okay? And then read the line. Also there's an extra comma here because we deleted the other record attributes. So delete that comma also. Okay, now it's all good, I think. Let me save the flow now. Let's see if we got any errors. There is no error there. Now, the next step I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a compose here. Okay, so under the compose, what I could get now is I can extract the values. Now you can see here, see that reference numbers and the tracking reference num number also there here. So let me take the reference number here, okay? Uh, and the tracking number, both we can get take. So here we go. So it's put a apply to each automatically because it got more than one records, okay? So I'm going to select that put a hyphen dash 
um, this is just for debugging purpose I'm just adding that and a tracking number okay so that's there now right the next thing now you know we got the reference number and the tracking number what we could do now is we can go and uh, read the list uh, so the next thing I'm going to do here is list uh, um, list the rows from SharePoint so this is a SharePoint connect I need then, then I'm going to use list rows no, sorry, list item. I think is it. I get mixed up with the names now. Oh, no, sorry, get items. Yeah. So the get items, and then select the you know the SharePoint uh, site address. Then the list. Uh, the list name is called inventory. I think that's one that is mine here. Yeah. And then here I'm going to use the filter now. So let's go back here. What we want to do the filter here is using the title. Okay. And so title is equal to the value coming from the Excel sheet. So remember to know the schema name, always look at the list settings. This is quite important. List settings. Click on the title. That is a title. Just click on it. And if I take all the way to the URL at the end, you can see here ampersand field equals. So this is the actual field name we need to always use it. So just to make sure that just in case somebody renamed to some other name, still you need to use that for the uh, the filter queries actually. So that's the title you want. Let me copy that and go going back to again to the inventory here and here and then put the filter query here and um, equals Sorry, EQ. Put two single quotations. Put the cursor inside the two single quotation. The next thing we need to map here is that tracking number we want. Sorry, the reference number. So the reference column we want. So remember, that's the reference number which we got the value from the previous step. Okay. So what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to go back here and look for the reference number here. So that that's a reference um, number here. That's one we got. Okay, that now the next step here is we can use the update here. Okay, so use the update item, update item, and uh, again select the SharePoint site name, then the list name here called uh, same thing inventory. Okay, and then the ID, the ID is coming from the previous step, the get items. See, that's ID we want, this ID. Okay, that's one I mapped. Because the uh, title is mandatory in my case, I need to map again coming from the previous step, which is a get items. Okay, that's right. Now the UPS tracking. So now if you look, keep going down or you can search for uh, tracking. So you should be able to see the tracking uh, number underscore reference number, which I put there earlier. That's my tracking number, which we want to update. That is coming from the past JSON step which we got that from the list rows from the Excel sheet. Remember that, yeah? So that's what I'm mapping here. So let me save this and uh, I'm going to run the flow now. So once I'm going to drag and drop again another file and um, uh, you know, um, we can test that. Okay, so click on test, select manually and click uh, test then. Okay, so uh, now flow is preparing for waiting to drag and drop a file now. Here it is, so it's waiting now. Okay, so let me do that now. Okay, so uh, the I, I drag and drop the file looks like it's you know the file gone uh, you know it's drag and drop is successful and then the next step is creating the table that is successful and then I'm reading the uh, the Excel sheet that is successful that step you can see the rows then passing the JSON using that data we generated using the schema remember that technique we used and then and the apply to each I got three records in that then it is looking the get items that's the first one it's looking to see that that's the title it is matching or not and then using that it's going to update the item yes it's updated that then click on the next uh, click on the next one that is the next record in the excel sheet and again see that's a, that's a new <clears throat> a new title here and then if you go here again it's that's updated and uh, finally the third one that is again uh, using the third one at the third filter query for the third record in the Excel sheet and that is updated also. So hopefully if I go back to my my SharePoint list, it should update all the tracking numbers. Here it is A100, B200 and C300. So if I open my uh, my tracking details Excel sheet, 
let me open that here it is see that a, a 100 b 200 and 300 so let me put side by side here it is see that so uh, what you could see here is you could see it is matching that 131 that is updated with a 100 then 2131BX that is matching with B200. Then finally 37818, 3789 matching with 3C300. Okay, so here it is. So that's the way you know you can uh, use utilize Power Automate to you know reading the OneDrive file, the Excel file dynamically. Um, you know um, using the technique to create the uh, table dynamically first of all, then use the list rows to get list rows to get the records. Then we generate the schema to you know get the files for the iteration part, and then the next step is fil filtering the get items. Where, you know we set the filter query here using the schema name coming from the past JSON step, the reference number, and then finally using uh, that you know we are updating the record with the against the tracking number. That's all it is. Yeah, hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.